Hey guys, welcome to Just Be Handy. It's time to do the front diff, so I did raise the car and I made sure it was level both uh, side to side and fore and aft on a level ground. What I did was I lifted the vehicle up on my ramps that I made before so the rear wheels went up on there and then for the front I just stacked three two by sixes or two by eights to get the same height as the two by sixes in the back and then I did turn the wheel all the way to the uh, left so that I can access the fill hole and I'll show you what that where that is that's the guy right there we need to be able to get at that all right and then the other thing you'll have to do is remove that cover so that you can get at the plugs underneath here this covers gotta go or at least loosened up enough so you can get under there and it's a combination of bolts and um, clips so I will go ahead and take that off do not whatever you do touch that bolt right there um, that is the transmission do not touch that unless you are doing a transmission service this is a front diff service so again do not touch that remove the cover and that's where um, that's where the, the two uh, drain and level check bolts will be you need to take out that fill plug first always remove the fill plug before you uh, go do anything else all right guys I'm under the car this is the transmission I'm going to put my breaker bar between the catalytic converter and the transmission so that I can get up to that point right there and be able to get my socket on it's going to be an eight millimeter hex on that one you can see it's smaller than the rear diff that's an eight millimeter hex and I'll uh, get my uh, hex in there and then try to break it free so to do that it's going to be toward I will take the breaker bar towards the front of the car so it'll go counterclockwise once that's broken loose okay guys when removing the lower cover always go for the ones with the uh, Phillips head on them these are part of an engine and then for the clips you should just be able to pop them open with a screwdriver so that's basically the key to taking these covers off all right guys I had to take that cover off as you can see it does say diff oil right here that is the drain plug for the oil this is a check plug this plug do not touch the fill plug again is over here and I'm going to try to get at it I couldn't get at it between the transmission and the catalytic converter because the cover was in the way and I couldn't move my hands very well so again the drain plug check plug and fill plug is right there with the socket in it all right so now I'm going to attempt to use the breaker bar on that and uh, break it loose again I will be turning the breaker bar towards the front of the car that will be the to loosen it up all right that did break it loose I'll have to remove the camera so I can get closer to that. There 
we go. Now, no fluid should really be coming out of here because it's only about 1.2 quarts of oil. That's the fill plug right there. I got the fill plug out. And now I can proceed to the other plugs. Okay, next I'm going to attempt to take out the inspection plug for the proper fluid level. And again, it's counterclockwise, and I'm using the breaker bar because I know these can be really tough. There we go. So there may be a little bit of oil that comes out when this plug is taken out. There we go. And now the drain plug is a T70. And again, this one's a torque to about 50 foot pounds, so you might need some persuasion on it. There, there we go. Actually, it wasn't too bad. All right. Now it's going to be about two quarts of oil coming out of here. And the car is warm, so this is probably going to come out very fast. There we go. And the magnet has a little bit of residue on it. Not bad. It is uh, the initial. So all the manufacturing stuff. So this should be the last time it gets a uh, little debris on it. But we'll let that drain for a while while I go clean my hands, get the, uh, I got to get this gasket off of here and uh, put new gaskets on. And I will put the gasket numbers down in the description below and you can get them at the dealer or I'll put a quick link on Amazon, an affiliate link that can help the channel. All right guys, so I'll let it drain and uh, get everything else ready. All right guys, the gaskets are still stuck to here, so we'll just get a screwdriver, pop them out. There we go. You don't really want to reuse these. These are kind of rusty and uh, they're crushed aluminum, so they might not seal very well for the next go around. So just clean everything up really well. And it's done draining, so I will get the gasket for this guy here. And it's 52 uh, foot-pounds of torque to torque that up. For this one to torque up and then this is 37 and the other one is 37 foot-pounds of torque so we'll go ahead and do that for these okay guys so we got a new gasket on this it is 8039260090 I will put this in the description below Again, just make sure you took out the old gasket, put in a new one, spin it tight, and then torque it to 52 foot-pounds. That's what I have this set to. There we go, 52 foot-pounds, just double check. All right. 
This one we'll leave out because we want to keep filling until we get fluid out of here. And we want to fill through that uh, fill hole on the top there. Okay guys, next I have this funnel with a hose on it that fits perfectly into the uh, fill hole. And I'll show you how that looks here. You can see it's inside the fill hole and there is a on off position for that uh, funnel so that I have it in the on position so that it will start filling and it's nice because it also has a strainer in it. So I'm going to add one quart of the uh, Amsoil synthetic and then um, We'll uh, go from there and see if it drips anything. Okay, here we go. And let's see how it's going into. And we just want to keep watching it till it starts to drip out of the uh, leveling hole. All right, looks like everything is going in well. So again, it should be a little over a quart, 1.2 quarts. So here's the first quart. We'll look underneath to see if there's anything uh, coming out of that fill hole. Still nothing coming out of the level hole. And we can see everything is going in and nothing is dripping out. So we do need an. There we go, it's full. All right guys, now we put a new gasket on here. This is gasket 8039180060. And that is going to close it up here. And then we need our eight millimeter hex with the torque wrench set to 37 foot-pounds. Okay, with the eight millimeter. There we go. And now we need to put the other plug in for the fill hole and then we will be close to being done. You just have to put the cosmetic cover back on after that. All right guys, what I ended up having to do is use a couple of extensions to get to the plug. And then I, you have to just hold that, all those extensions steady so you could torque it to 40 foot pounds or 37 foot pounds. So, There we go. If you enjoyed this, please give us a thumbs up. If you've learned anything, please do give us a thumbs up, subscribe. We do need your support. Anything you could do to help us out would be great to keep this channel going. Thanks again and God bless. Bye.